Welcome, ladies and germs, to another grand edition of the Easily Annoyed Drunken Gamer. In today's episode, I shall review a cliffhanger for the SNES, developed by Sony ImageSoft during their darker days, before they had the power of the PlayStation that we all know so well and love. Once we approach the title screen, we have very few options, as you can tell. The basics like sound, stereo, mono, lives, three, five, seven. Just start the damn game already. In this pixelated still screen cinematic, the story tells us of two young travelers who have been captured by terrorists and have uh, summoned rescue climbers to the rescue. Unfortunate for them, they are to be captured, or they are to be tricked by these terrorists to uh, retrieve $100 million if the travelers are to survive. But if they beat them to it, then they are royally anal fucked. Yes. Did I forget to mention, for those of you who have not seen the lackluster 1993 film, that this film stars none other than Sylvester <laughs> Stallone. After a George W. Bush-like figure holds you at gunpoint telling you to retrieve the money, it gives you this uh, GPS and tells you to get the hell out of here, and uh, should I jar your memory, get the money. Yes, so that's what you must do. Um, so yes, a band of merciless terrorists will follow you in your every move, and uh, yeah, uh, you have to fight them. So that pretty much uh, sets up the plot for the game. Now in Stallone speak, I need to get the money to save hell. Yo, I just need to hope that I can get it before they do. Ho ho ho. Well, when the cinematic ends and the game begins, you can obviously tell that this is just your traditional beat em up. Just like. Oh no. No! Not surprisingly, there is no originality to the gameplay whatsoever. In fact, the best way to defeat enemies is still the old jump and kick method, as you can see here. Jump and kick, jump and kick, jump and kick, jump and kick. Wow, wasn't that impressive. This game is so unoriginal that the developers thought that it would be an original idea to include knives as a weapon. And by the look of things, it is pretty much your only sub-weapon. With the exception of punches and kicks, of course. As far as the graphics go in this game, it seems like the artists have a gray and white fetish, as you can see in the background. Nothing but white and gray. Yeah, that's how you make a level. The controls function a lot better than a certain beat-em-up game, which will remain anonymous, for those of you who have just tuned in. But there's nothing new about the control mechanisms, and that's what makes this game so wrong, is that there's nothing new. I'm pretty sure that this game was created for the sole purpose of Sly <coughs> Stallone to increase his own profits from this failed cash cow. Oh look, here's something original in beat em up, jumping over cliffs. Wow, you're gonna get points for that one, Stallone. Don't you just love fighting carbon copies of the same two guys over and over again? It's pretty much what you do in the entire game. Despite the overall mediocrity, the game does offer a few moments of variety, such as carbon copy number two of gray-haired model. Fifteen carbon copies and one jump later, you come across a cliff, and it looks easy enough, but there's more than meets the eye here. <laughs> Observe the excruciating agony of tedious platform jumping. <laughs> I think you get the idea. Let's just say that Sly makes it across somehow. Fast forward to the end of the level, because honestly, there isn't anything that you haven't seen before here. Your character finds a campfire as a means to recover his health, signifying the end of the level. Hmm, where else have I seen this method of recovering health at the end of a stage? In a beat-em-up. Oh yeah, now I remember. Level 2 begins, and your character, aka Sly, 
Stallone must climb the wall to the top. After all, this game is based on a movie about climbing mountains, isn't it? But once again, the game's developers give you very little indication of where to go and what to do. Until you, most mistakenly, press the up button next to the wall, and then you start climbing, as seen. And then some NRA enthusiasts try to shoot you down, and most of the time succeed. Well, I would guess I'd have to say that the only redeeming quality about this game that its movie counterpart does not have is the fact that you can kill Sly. I'm not gonna say it anymore. Stallone as many times as your heart desires. See you next week!